Show off your robot to thousands on the front page of Twitch. Submit your robot reveal video to Fun Premiere Night by going to tinyurl.com forward slash fun2019 info to learn more. We're going to get on to our first topic tonight. It's kind of a strange one about a radio host from Texas on Twitter describing his experience at what seems like his son's first Lego League event. Uh, the initial tweet, uh, his name's Jesse Kelly, it stated... I'm at a Lego robotics tournament for my oldest, and you've never seen this many depressed fathers in one place. We're all thinking other kids play football. This then descended into a whole list of other. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're starting the whole story again. Good. Let's pretend we didn't do that before. Let's get into our first topic tonight, everybody. This is a strange one about a radio host from Texas on Twitter describing his experience at his son's robotics event, which seems to be from his post about First Lego League. The initial tweet from uh, Jesse Kelly, DC, stated, I'm at a Lego robotics tournament for my oldest, and you've never seen this many depressed fathers in one place. We're all thinking other kids play football. This then descended into several other tweets about his experience there, uh, one of which noted they're going nuts like it's the Super Bowl. I don't belong here. Um, Defending, so that was his experience, which was interesting. And then uh, he got this firestorm of tweets in response, defending both his son's decision to be in robotics either instead of or in addition to sports, uh, and of course questioning this guy's parenting choices. The interesting twist is that the host seems to be claiming that all of his posts are just for humor and that he's trolling to get his additional flash of fame. With the story behind us, Karthik, what we actually really want to focus more on today is looking at the bigger picture, at the perception of robotics, and how being a geek or a nerd or just involved in robotics, no matter what you call yourself, has changed over the years. Is the public response to a tweet like this an indication that STEM programs like FIRST are now a little more widely accepted, or do you think there's still a long way to go? Uh, you know, I, I, there's definitely been some changes, but like to start from the top, let me just say, like, this guy's a tool. Like, there, there's, there's no arguing that, and I really don't want to give him any attention because he doesn't deserve it. And if he says he's just trolling, well, I don't think that makes it any better because you just have to look through some of his past tweets and, like... This, the robotic stuff was actually like the mildest stuff out there. Like he has had a lot of hateful statements. He particularly goes after the LGBTQ community. Uh, Muslims are another community that he goes after. And he's like, this is guys, he's a jerk. So I'm done giving him attention. But I'm happy to talk about his actual comments. Um, I thought they were kind of ridiculous. Demeaning to his own child and there's kids' friends and evidence of a pretty closed mind. All that being said... Like, I I think a lot of people saw these comments and just assumed, like, this is just, like, one guy. But, like, I've known plenty of people who feel this way, the same way that he does. There's there's no doubt that there has been and there still is a real stigma about being on a robotics team. And it's not just students who are a part of it that feel it. I know lots of teachers who teach in schools that have robotics programs, like first FLL, FRC, whatever, and they don't want to do it. And the reason they don't want to is, like, they flat out said, yeah, I don't want to spend my spare time with a bunch of losers. You know, like they'd rather be with kids that they get along with more. And so, like, that's kind of crazy. I have friends who don't want their kids in robotics programs because of the fear of them becoming nerds and becoming social outcasts. Like, like, you know, and they don't want to have to, you know, their kid bringing home other nerdy kids or whatever. And, like, I'll be completely honest. When I was in high school, I didn't want to join my robotics team for the same reason. But here's the deal. Everything changes when you get to an event. And sure, there are a bunch of awkward people around, but there's a special level of energy and excitement. I don't need to preach to the choir. Everyone who's watching the show is like in the world of robotics and loves this stuff. But like, I've met so many adults who all had the same reaction where they're like, yeah, 
you know, I didn't think this was going to be for me. I thought my kid was a loser for doing this, but I came to the event and like, I love it. And they're always like, man, you know, now that I see this, I wish this existed when I was a kid, I would have done this, you know, or like, I wish I had known sooner about this. How many people on teams have you met who were just like, they join a first team when they're in grade 12 and they were just like, oh, I wish I'd knew, known about this sooner. And the other thing parents are always saying is like, oh my goodness, my kid's having so much fun. They're so much smarter than me than I was at that age. So for this guy with his tweets, like that sort of reaction after you've been to an event, that's kind of crazy that you just can't overcome your preconceived notions to just kind of see what's happening there. But, you know, like, I mean, I've met people, I know this one guy who was on an FRC team and like still friends with him like years afterwards. And he's like, yeah, like I thought the worst thing about the first events was the whole gracious professionalism thing. Like I thought that was stupid how everyone was like trying to help their opponent. Like I just wanted to go like punch people. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's an attitude, you know, but like in terms of how things have changed, I don't know, man, like I was in high school a long time ago. And I think some of the taboos aren't as influential as they once were. I think culture actually is changing no matter what some ignoramus on Twitter says. And I think that, you know, like, I mean, like, if you look at it, like, technology is more in people's hands, and there's less fear of technology, so that whole perception of what's a nerd is kind of shifted a little bit. And so I think that, you know, I wouldn't call robotics mainstream by any means yet, but, like, it, you know, there's a there's a bit of a shift. And, like, like Libby, you know more about this world, but the world of esports, like, when I was in high school, playing video games was for nerds. It's and still like, for nerds, but we get paid now. Yeah, it's but fine. at least, like, but there's something, like, there's if you're getting paid, there's a market for it. <laughs> there, there, there's money out there that someone's putting in there that didn't exist before. And so like, you know, it, things are shifting, things are changing. Like, I mean, we're broadcasting here on Twitch and like, you know, there's plenty of kids who watch more video games than they do sports. So like things, I, I'm not saying it's like overnight the culture has changed, but yeah, there's definitely been a shift. And I think that's kind of cool. And I think that was seen by the responses to that morons tweets. Yeah. I mean, I, I think you're on the money here. Um, to to echo your original sentiment this guy's a tool um and he's not worth the attention i when this first came like showed up in my news feed what's really interesting for me and to the point of um to the point of you saying like oh yeah like consider that gaming has also gone through this whole revolution of acceptance and culture i actually saw it in my feed because my twitch friends were retweeting it like man i wish i could have done robotics when i was in school which is was so wild to me. I wasn't actually seeing firsters in my timeline. I was seeing like my Twitch friends. Um, but then, you know, I also started to see kind of robotics people, the first community catch on to it. Um, and I had originally really um, kind of chimed in or at least liked in, in support of tweets that are like, I hope your son makes it to championship so we can show you around. Um, and then I looked at the rest of his content and like Karthik said, a lot of what he says can be really, really hateful. That's just a no, that's not welcome in our community, no matter who you are. Um, I think supporting your kids and what they love to do is what's most important about being a parent. Not that I am one, but um, I teach a lot of other people's kids and I can tell the difference in a kid's attitude when their parent has their back versus when their parent does it. And I, I hope more first parents are the opposite of this guy. But I think the thing that, struck me about the whether it was the first community or just the internet's general response to this um like it blew up on reddit it was on um what's the murdered by words subreddit like this guy gets like totally roasted by the internet for dunking on his kid um it was what bothered me was that some of the stuff people were saying to him was just as hateful in return. I, I think it was in the BuzzFeed article well, or maybe the subreddit. Welcome to the internet, man. I, I, you know, really? It's the worst. It's the is worst. Is the internet it's mean, just... think I've never experienced that before in my yeah. whole life. Oh, yeah, me neither. <laughs> um, I didn't have someone threaten to chop off parts of my anatomy no, with razor blades. No, no. That's none of... Oh, I hate the internet. Um, and to answer the chat, I stream on Twitch and I manage Twitch team, but I'm not an esports player. Um, anyway, um, when it, when it comes to how people treated this guy, I saw somebody on Twitter respond to him with, there's going to be nobody to hold your hand when you die, which is a totally messed up thing to say to someone on the internet, no matter who they are. There is no reason, like, I'm not here to like give this guy a gilded invitation to the championship, but there's absolutely no reason, especially as the first community to be like really, really hateful to this person. I don't support the idea and i've been schooled on this before of 
blindly being kind to everyone when they've proven they're kind of a, um, I was going to swear, no swear jar for me today, kind of a crappy person. Um, or in some cases, a really just hateful person. Um, but I don't, I don't think we need to be like mean to this guy. Um, I think there's space on the internet for education without trying to befriend someone that is, you know, particularly unsavory. Um, my main point in that kind of mini ramble is that the first community, especially, and I tweeted about this almost immediately after seeing it, I, I had a couple of reactions, but one of them was really important to me to make sure that the community saw that, you know, as much as this sucks that this guy is trying to make fun of robotics, like we are better than making fun of him in return. Um, he doesn't deserve the attention in the first place. Let's just not be that way. Um, I think there's totally a world where, and I think Carly put this better, um, that first and sports and all sorts of other student activities can coexist. I played lacrosse in high school in addition to being a captain of the robotics team. Um, my The reason this sort of, I know Carly, we talked a lot, a lot about it the day it was happening too, but um, one of the things that kind of stuck out to me is like, students that are watching this right now or watching later on the archive, you should be doing more than one thing if those things are important to you and bring you joy and make your life more diverse. Um, those experiences make everybody better. Um, it is possible for someone to play sports and do robotics. We should not be treating our community like the anti-sports, right? I, I think sometimes we get in this weird mindset in the first community deck going a whole other rant about that about how like sports are evil and bad and like pop culture is bad. And uh, I don't, I don't think we should try to push that forward. I, I don't think that's what helps us as a community. Um, I really loved to be kind of to circle back on our original point and hopefully move on. Cause I can ramble. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, I loved seeing the general internet defend robotics in a gracious way, not making fun of him, all that kind of stuff, but really truly responding to this guy with, you know, my kid does robotics and football and they love it. Or, you know, robotics is cool. I wish I could have done robotics. Seeing all sorts of, you know, all sorts of responses from whether it was first community, my other friends in my timeline, or just a random person that I saw in response to the tweet really seeing that STEM education in whatever way was important and valuable to them. I think we are seeing some of that culture change and, um, but there is still a long way to go as you pointed out, Karthik. Um, so we've actually discussed some of a couple of little uh, comments and thoughts in the chat on our uh, tweet storm topic um, from CE scales, 1073, they wrote, uh, first robotics actually made me more social and made me realize that it's okay to be a nerd and a little bit different from my peers. And after joining my team, I finally felt like I belonged somewhere. I think that's uh, a really cool, that's yeah, cool space. Yeah. Uh, from uh, Bob Zinkov, I think BattleBots did a lot of good for public work on robotics. I would agree with that. BattleBots um, has probably been, had done the most work at mainstreaming uh, robotics competitions. And especially the most recent run uh, on ABC in the summertime was, um, it was a pretty big deal. So I thought that was, I definitely agree with that. Can I, can I tag on that one really quick? I actually think that people getting like salty about people going, Oh, cool. You do robotics. Is that like battle bots and getting like, man, no, it's not like, come on, man, associate us with something cool like that. No, we're not about destruction, but like the production value in that and the fact that they have made this like build like crazy competition so cool on TV that everyone's mom is watching it. Like, oh, stop putting us away from BattleBots. I like it when people ask me if it's like BattleBots because I say kind of, but it's for high schoolers and we don't destroy somebody else's work. And that's fine too. We play sports. Move on. If BattleBots is how someone connects to this, good. Okay, sorry, I'm ranting. I didn't um, realize I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, people get really, I actually used to, as a, I will admit that I am this person, but like 10 years ago, people were like, is that like BattleBots? I'm like, no, BattleBots is stupid, because I'm an idiot. Um, <laughs> it was, like, I, like, I was totally, like, I was so defensive of first, like, I thought it was like a good thing that I was like making us different, but BattleBots has done so much for making robotics cool. Um, 
and and I love that. And I would like to ask for forgiveness for my like ten to fifteen year old self uh, and how I acted in general. Hey, wait, uh, is there is there forgiveness available for actions of our like ten to fifteen year old self? Because I've got like a laundry list of things to go through. I have through, a friend man. who refers to that as teenage amnesty. Yeah, please, <laughs> I feel please. like that should be a thing. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So our last our... comment on this from the chat is uh, from B Darrow's. It's as a parent and a mentor. I was totally and utterly disgusted by this guy to the point that I found myself unable to respond without stooping to this individual's level. Well, good um, for you for not stooping. Thank you. I think that makes the first community look better when we don't respond that way. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent. Pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now.